Okay, so uh, back to the machine with the wire axis power feed on, which is the same as yours. So we've checked the nut is tight. So, okay, so I know this handle moves around a little bit, but it is a safety handle, so that's all fine. So what we're doing now is, I'm just going to take these four screws out of here. So this is the last one. Okay, so I'm going to wind this this way. You see the lead screw comes out. Okay, so we can check for backlash uh, in the double nuts which are under, hidden underneath there. So this is all not moving, this is all good, this is all tight, we checked that previously. Okay, so now we just lift, lift up to take the pressure off it and we push backwards and forwards and we can see there's no movement whatsoever here. You're looking for a movement of 3mm so you should be able to see that easily. So if you push backwards and forwards now, you see this assembly isn't moving and neither should that be moving backwards and forwards in that gap either. You see with this one it's absolutely perfect. Um, so that means the double nuts are absolutely fine. So we can put this back together uh, simply by winding this back in again. that's how to check. Obviously if you've got a problem with those double nuts um, it may be better that we send an engineer um, to sort that out for you. This is just how you check for it to uh, sort of narrow down the fault of it. Because if it is something simple the last thing you want is, to, is for us to come out with something quite so simple you know. Okay, I'll put the other two back in a minute, but you can see that it's now working again. Absolutely fine, no backlash at all. So that's all back together again.